If you got a hundred dollars laying around and you want to invest into your YouTube studio, I'm going to be breaking down this setup that for a hundred dollars can level up your lighting and your audio overall, taking your video to the next level. Let's go. You got to just press record. Hey, what is up? It's Omar Takori with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video. And sometimes we do YouTube strategy videos as well as YouTube studio setups just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So in this video, we'll be talking about leveling up your YouTube studio with just a hundred dollars. And I think a lot of people might be in this place, but I don't want to lie to you up front. This doesn't include a camera uh, in this setup. This will actually include your smartphone. And so, you know, if you have a smartphone from the last three or four years, you could probably get really good, decent HD or even 4K video now. But before we get into all the gear and things like that, let's jump into a quick test on how this looks when it's all hooked up. So this is a video example using the light, but no audio. So this is the onboard mic on the iPhone 11 Pro. And I know I would assume it sounds like I'm further away. But let's plug in the $20 mic and see the difference it makes by making this small investment. So here is the final product of what you get when you do the $100 YouTube Studio setup that I'm recommending in this video. And now I got the $20 lavalier mic hooked up to my jacket here and uh, it brought the audio a lot closer because now the mic's here. And what's so cool is like the, the cord of this mic is really long. So, I mean, the audio stays consistent no matter where I am in regards to the camera itself. And then having the soft box definitely makes for a great soft look on my face. And then having obviously the, the camera at eye level because I have a tripod that now holds my camera where I need it to be but a great investment to produce a great sound and looking video. And so with that all being said, let's break down each thing in this setup right now. So the way I'm gonna break down each piece of gear in this equipment will fall under this acronym that we actually like teaching here at Think Media, and that is ALVIS. That is A-L-V-S, and that stands for audio, it stands for lighting, video, and then stabilization. And so with audio being first, let's talk about the audio upgrade you can invest in right now. So if you didn't know this fact, audio is 50% of video. I always encourage people to know that you can have lower quality video, but better audio and people will stick around and continue to watch your videos. Have you ever watched a video and the audio is either distorted or just too low? It really is distracting and actually takes away from the video itself. So it is important to upgrade your audio and I would suggest upgrading your audio first in any type of YouTube setup you're ever building out. And so with this particular setup, I wanna encourage you to buy a lav mic. A lav mic is a mic like I'm using right now. It's a, it's a clip on mic uh, that can clip onto your shirt. And the best thing about these kind of mics, especially because they're wired, is that they retain your audio no matter how far you are from the camera obviously as, as far as the wire would go. And what's cool about this is it's reliable, it's consistent, and it's also cost effective. And so the one I wanna recommend essentially two, but the first one is called the Boya M1 mic. This is a $20 lav mic upgrade to your onboard mic to your smartphone. So if you are just using your smartphone to create YouTube videos, let me know in the comments below, by the way, what phone are you using to create videos? I'd love to know. But if you have nothing hooked up to your phone, then you're just using the onboard mic. And if you are even arm's length distance or even a little bit further than that, it's gonna be a very echoey or you're just gonna sound far away. And so this mic will actually make it sound like you're a lot closer to the camera, which is what you wanna do. However, I definitely wanna push my favorite mic that I love for, and I, the mic I tell everybody to upgrade. It isn't $20, it's $50 and that is the Deity V-Lab. We actually made a video review on this mic, and if you wanna check that out, we'll put it in the YouTube card and in the description below. It is an extra 20 some odd dollars, but I think the quality difference is worth it when it comes to upgrading the mic. But I wanna honor the title of this video, and it is an under $100 setup. So the Boya M1 for $20, or you can hit the deity. Links in the description, by the way, for everything I am recommending here in this video, so you can go ahead and check it out, and check out more features on things like that. Now, if you are using a newer smartphone, a lot of brands have taken out the uh, 3.5 millimeter jack from the phone, which maybe you'll have to actually get an adapter. And so for my iPhone 11 Pro, I have the lightning to headphone adapter, but this will allow me to plug in that lavalier into the camera. All right, so we covered audio. Now the next thing to cover is lighting. And again, I think this is actually like the perfect order when you're upgrading your equipment. And the light I actually recommend you looking into 
is this Mount Dog Softbox Light Kit. And by kit, it comes with the stand, comes with the softbox and the bulb itself. And this comes in at around $47. And I think this is the best first light to get if you're looking to, you know, you're on a budget and you're looking for your first light. The reason why I love this light is because it's soft. And so it produces a very good flattering cinematic look. Uh, we actually use this light to uh, shoot a lot of our thumbnails. And when I am shooting on my phone in my office, live streaming and things like that, I'm actually using this light. I'm not using a super fancy, big, expensive light. It is this. $46 light from Mount Dog. And similar to the microphone upgrade, if you wanted to spend the extra, you know, $15, you can actually get a second one for close to $60, $70. And so nonetheless, this soft box is an incredible upgrade to, you know, if you're just using window light, uh, so you can shoot at any time of the day or at nighttime, but love this Mount Dog light kit. I recommend this one when you're upgrading lighting. So by upgrading our audio and our lighting, we are sitting at around 66 to $70 when you, you know, add taxes and shipping maybe and stuff like that. Uh, but I wanna talk about the next two things. But before I do, I wanna let you know about our Think Masterclass. If you're looking to take YouTube seriously, and I think if you're watching this video, maybe you're thinking about taking YouTube a little bit seriously. It, it's without a doubt that YouTube can be a job replacement, a career move, and you can make some serious money by using YouTube to grow your business or your brand or whatever you're doing. But if you wanna check out our free one hour class, you can check out the link in the description below or go to thinkmasterclass.com. In that class, you'll learn about how you can take YouTube to a part-time or even full-time income. And we've seen tons of people see so much success with the things we're teaching. So check out thinkmasterclass.com. But let's talk about video. So the next element when it comes to this YouTube studio setup is the video and obviously, yeah, I said we're not gonna be upgrading our camera, but I wanted to give you a free tip. This costs you nothing. And a lot of times you act, people who actually use their smartphone to shoot videos, they don't lock in their exposure. And so when they move, you actually get a lot of flicker in your video. And so um, as I move my hand, you can see in the corners that it's flickering. But even in this example with my face, as I'm moving my hands, it's flickering. Now, the way to actually prevent this from happening is to actually lock in your exposure. And the way you do that with most phones is you simply hold down on your face. And so I would say if you're using either side of your camera, obviously this is more possible if the camera is facing you and you're using the selfie camera, just put your face where you're gonna sit or stand and then hold and tap the screen and then it'll lock your exposure and it'll lock your focus. Now, I encourage you to use the rear camera of your smartphone. If you can get a second hand to just lock in that focus or use like a stuffed animal or a pillow in place of where you'll be standing or sitting, lock in the focus and the exposure and you won't have that issue and you'll be in focus for the duration of your video. So now we're at the fourth element of our YouTube studio setup. Remember Alvis, we had our audio, we had our lighting, we had our video, and now we have our stabilization. These are actually four questions you should ask every time you hit record, or if you're even live streaming. What's, what's my light source? What is my audio source? How is my video being captured? How does the video even look? You know, am I in focus? Is the exposure good? And then lastly, you wanna ask yourself, how is my camera being held up? And so uh, a lot of the times people starting out, maybe you'll stack books or shoe boxes, which I think 100% is a way to go. We actually made a video on like free hacks uh, to use with your smartphone. Essentially, it's a free YouTube studios video. Um, you can check that out too. We'll put that in the description below. So all that to say, you wanna ask yourself, how is my phone being held up? And so I love this $20 tripod for your smartphone has a clamp that allows you to uh, put the phone in either portrait or horizontal or what you would call uh, landscape mode and then another thing i love about this 20 dollars tripod is it comes with a remote a bluetooth remote that you can hook up to your smartphone and then you can actually start and stop recording i think that's a cool feature especially if you're by yourself and you are a solo creator which i know a lot of people are um, but nonetheless a $20 uh, tripod for your smartphone can go such a long way. You can put it on the floor and then put it at eye level, but more than anything, a super cool solution to bring you under $100. And now you got your YouTube studio set up ready to go. Now, if you got value in this video, let me know by hitting that like button for me. Thank you so much. And we actually made a video on the best 
editing software for smartphones and or tablets. So if you're editing on your smartphone, you wanna learn about this app. It's a super awesome app with an incredible interface. You can check that out by clicking or tapping the screen. And I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.